Hello everyone, welcome to Task Farm YouTube channel and today I want to share with you the proper measures, what principles must you use to vaccinate your birds. In this video, we are talking with people who are not doing organic farming. We have, we have videos about organic farming, but this time we are saying if you are not doing organic farming, what must you do to vaccinate your birds properly. So stay tuned on this video, watch till the end and if, it's new on this, if you are new on this channel, please subscribe. And if it's your first time to watch these videos, like, share and comment so that you don't miss out on any video next time. In poultry farming, you either go organic farming or you have to do vaccination. If you're not in organic farming, so you must vaccinate your birds. And today, these are the measures you must take. These are the principles of vaccination, so that you don't go wrong on the vaccination. Some people can vaccinate, but you end up, your birds are sick and they are dying, yet you vaccinated. So today, we are giving you the proper ways of vaccination. We, in the poultry, or special layers, we vaccinated against major diseases. These include Newcastle, Infectious bronchitis, malics, gumboro, fall pox, fall typhoid, infectious coryza, among others. And all these diseases, if not vaccinated, if not vaccinated, they kill your birds. We can talk of Newcastle, which kills 60% of your flock. You can imagine 60%. Let us say you have 100 birds and they kill, they die 60 of them. You remain with 40. So it is better to prevent than to treat. They are not in the street. So, what must you do for proper vaccination? Okay, to begin with, we say you must follow the administration route. What do I mean? You must follow the path of vaccination. If they say Newcastle is to be done in the drinking water or in the eye, eye drop, you don't come and say me, I must do in the mouth, I must inject, no. Please follow the guideline of the vets who give you the medicine, who give you the drugs. And on this I say, when you go to purchase your chicks, ensure that you're given a vaccination schedule. Let your supplier give you a vaccination schedule, because the vaccination schedule is varied. From community to community, from location to location, it depends on the mother's talk. You can't get a vaccination schedule from uh, Uganda and then you go to vaccinate you the same schedule in uh, maybe Europe or Kenya or where. It, it has to be done in the location. And, and again, if you get the birds from this company A, you can't use the vaccination schedule for the company B because they're not from the same stock. Maybe this, these birds, the parent stock had these challenges. So the, the, the supplier should be able to let you know that these diseases must be vaccinated against. But if you don't vaccinate, you get challenges. They die using large numbers. Another thing you must ensure, ensure that if they tell you to vaccinate using water or drinking water, you never use chlorinated water. Ensure that the, the water you're using, if you use vaccination in the water, the water is, tap, is, is drawn from the borehole or rainwater. water or you keep the chlorinated water for over 24 hours. You fetch it, then you keep it for 24 hours before you give it to your birds. Otherwise, that chlorine reduces the vaccine. You know, the vaccine is a live organism. So when you give it such medicines, usually they kill it and it loses energy. You end up vaccinating, but the birds still fall sick. So ensure that you never use chlorinated water. To vaccinate your birds, ensure the birds are not sick. Apart from some diseases which are, maybe it's a calamity and it has come on ground, you have nothing to do. You can vaccinate them. Maybe we talk of fallpox. Fallpox usually when it hits your birds, we encourage you to vaccinate it. You vaccinate every bird, but you treat them even if they are sick. Those which are sick will be treated, but those which are not sick will not be sick again. So ensure you vaccinate the non-sick birds. Of course, why I'm saying they shouldn't vaccinate sick birds, if the birds are on antibiotics, Let's give an example, you're giving your birds tetracycline. You can't vaccinate them. Because those antibiotics are strong to kill the vaccine once again. The vaccine is a live virus, it's a live organism that you cannot give 
any other antibiotic, you kill it. So ensure that you never vaccinate a bird that is sick. If you were to vaccinate your birds, I usually encourage you to give them vitamins a day before or a day after. If you're giving vitamins, try to give them two days before and two days after. Because the vitamins are like organisms that stress the bird. The bird will be stressed and once it is stressed, of course if it is laying, it loses the eggs, if it is growing, it loses the growth rate. So ensure that your birds are vaccinated but with vitamins before and vitamins after. When you go to buy the vaccines, you must handle them with care. Don't put them in a very hot environment. Don't put them in a very cold environment. You say these vaccines, you bring them in the ice or in a flask. But of course, I usually say to the starters, you don't, we all don't have flasks. I mean, we, don't, we all don't have flasks or okay, the, we have to carry the vaccines in a safe way. But when they give you the ice, put in a good container, carry home. Don't pass anywhere. Some of us don't have fridges at home. You vaccinate immediately. Because this vaccine shouldn't be frozen and should be put on the fridge level, refrigerated level. And because we don't have fridges in the villages, we encourage you to go to town, buy the medicine or the vaccine, come with it. Don't pass anywhere, reach home, vaccinate, number one, vaccinate. If it is the eye drop, put the eyes. If it is for injection in the wing web, that like four pox in the wing web, you, you inject direct. If it is to be the chest, the subcutaneous, this, uh, the, the full typhoid, you do that. So ensure that you do what the doctor or the vet has showed you, the shop attendant. And again, this is what brings me to, don't buy in any other shop. There are shops which, which, which have fake fridges. A shop that sells medicine, the vaccine, but the fridge is not working. So ensure you get genuine shops where they have good fridge and the good first person will be stable or they have a stand-up generator. So, so that your vaccines are not dead. If you give a dead vaccine, you're wasting your time. If you're to give vaccines in drinking water, ensure that you put the water that is enough for that moment. Ensure that the water you're giving does not last long. The water you're giving your birds, if you give it for maybe more than three hours, the vaccine will die. The water you put in the vaccine could only last three hours in the birds. Beyond that, the vaccine dies because I told you it is a live organism. So you should always ensure that the three hours when they last, you remove the water. And uh, on the day of vaccination, never give vitamins. I told you give vitamins before, two days and two days after. On the day of, vit of vaccination, don't give any other medicine. Be it the warming, be it a vitamin, don't give any medicine on that day. Leave the birds to be on the vaccine alone and the vaccine will work. So thank you for watching this video. One, thank you for having a good day with us. See the end of the video. We shall meet in the next video. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that warning button so that you don't miss any other video as we put the videos next time. Always with you and we love you so much.